Alistair Campbell has admitted breaking social distancing rules during the current coronavirus lockdown, with furious Twitter users demanding he now ends his own scathing attacks on under fire Dominic Cummings for apparently flouting the same measures. Political blog website Guido Fawkes reported Tony Blair's former spin doctor tweeted a selfie at 7.25 a.m. on Wednesday morning with Speedo Mick, with whom he swam into in the Serpentine in Hyde Park, London. Speedo Mick is best known for attending Everton football matches wearing only the swimming trunks and earlier this year raised more than £330,000 for charity Leave the Light On by braving vicious storms in walking from John O'Groats in Scotland to Land's End in Cornwall. According to a screenshot taken by Guido Fawkes, the tweet from Mr. Campbell, which was accompanied by a picture of the two men, read, Well that is a nice surprise, bumping into at Speedo Mick at the Serpentine. And if you don't know who he is, never mind. It means you're not a football fan. But Mr. Campbell, who is a keen football fan and supports Burnley, quickly deleted the tweet, which showed him breaking strict social distancing rules enforced by the UK government. Edo Fawkes wrote, Bad Al Campbell is one of Dominic Cummings' fiercest critics in the media, popping up on all channels to argue that even small breaches of the rules were unacceptable and merit sackings. Guido would therefore have thought Campbell would be extra careful to stick to those rules given his censoriousness. Not so, Blair's former spin doctor and Romaniac campaigner tweeted out AA selfie this morning at 7.25 with Speedo Mick, an Everton fan who attends matches wearing only Speedos, whom he swam into in the Serpentine in Hyde Park. The grinning selfie shows the two men shoulder to shoulder, a world away from the two-meter distance rules. The tweet, perhaps once Bad Al realized he was self-incriminating, was then swiftly deleted. Alistair Campbell claiming the title of Britain's biggest hypocrite, the former Labour spin doctor admitted to a breach of social distancing and apologized unreservedly for this lapse. He added if he were to still hold a public position, I would offer my resignation to the PM immediately, something Mr Cummings is under pressure to do himself. Reacting to the Guido Fawkes story, Mr. Campbell tweeted, Yes. Hands up. Too slow as fans flocked around taking pics of pecs as I went for my swim. Definite breach of social distancing. I apologize unreservedly for this lapse. If I still held a public position I would offer my resignation to the PM immediately. Twitter users flocked to the social media platform to mock the apology from Mr. Campbell and lash out at the former spin doctor who has been so critical of Mr. Cummings. The Prime Minister's chief advisor is under pressure to resign after traveling 260 miles to County Durham in March during the height of the coronavirus lockdown. One Twitter user wrote, You know as well as we do that the PM when you were in post would not have accepted your resignation. Now that we know that you're definitely a rule breaker, you're going to have to shut up about Cummings. People in glass houses. Another commented, You scramble to swiftly delete your tweet. High comedy from lots of hypocrites at the moment. A third person wrote, But your first reaction was to remove the tweet and hope no one saw it. On Tuesday, Mr. Campbell furiously lashed out at Mr. Cummings after the Prime Minister's chief advisor defended his controversial actions in a press conference, and branded cabinet MPs spineless and callow for offering support. Mr. Cummings addressed the press from Downing Street to explain his movements, a display which the former advisor to Mr. Blair branded shambolic. Mr. Campbell said, the worst thing is that this is a time that the entire government and cabinet should be focused on nothing other than getting the country through this crisis. A crisis which they have helped to make worse, which they have helped to get us as one of the top four countries in the world on the mortality and infection death league table. How pathetic was it yesterday to see that shambles of a press conference by Cummings, then to have the Prime Minister come out to try and move the agenda on with some non-science-led stuff about markets and retail. Mr Cummings drove from his London home to his parents' farm in the northeast in March with his wife, who had at the time been experiencing coronavirus symptoms. But the move has sparked a furious reaction from across Westminster, with the government now being accused of double standards as the UK's population of 70 million is forced to follow the strict lockdown rules. 
The Prime Minister led a daily briefing from Downing Street on Sunday and strongly defended Mr Cummings following hours of face-to-face -face meetings that day with his chief advisor. Mr Cummings gave a news conference on Monday and explained that he made the trip after feeling it would be better to self-isolate somewhere where he had options for childcare if required.